So I see all sorts of things, which is good, but it's also confusing at times. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it can be a drudgery. I mean, imagine having, uh, you know, let's just say a crystal ball where you can see a little bit more than the average person. Sometimes it might make you even question your own humanity to think, wow, do I want to know this? Do I do I want to really know uh, what people have in store for me and what their real intentions are? I mean, and that's a scary place to be in. And uh, the world has progressively become a much scarier place. And there's never been a better reason for people to be armed and to be protected and have the ability uh, to stand up to tyranny, to stand up to evil in their community, to stand up to these evil school shooters, whoever it may be, whenever you see evil in your path, uh, to have a means to eradicate it. I think it's one of the most American traits that we could ever ask for in our society is simply the ability to stamp out evil wherever you see it. Yeah, my two friends, uh, DLD After Dark and Flying Rich, both of them. I really say- enjoyed being on with him the other day, by the way. Oh, uh, DLD After Dark? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy. Um, I have I went. I grew up with his brother. I've known his brother since, like, kindergarten. Awesome. Um, but they both say different versions of this. Uh, you know, the only thing that stops evil is good men skilled in violence. Yeah. That's kind of true. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, we, we can – we can hate evil all we want, but sometimes you have to pick up a dang stick and beat it back in the dark. You know what I mean? That's just how Correct. it goes. I mean, yep. someone has to pick up a torch and a sword and go fight, you know, and, and we, it, it is, it is a story as old as humanity, right? That there's nothing that's going to escape the fact that sometimes good people have to put evil people down. 